Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Mac Flash Trivia. My name is Francois and I will be the host for the next little bit. Welcome to Mac Flash Trivia Quickies. And uh, what do I have for you today? Well, it's a companion piece to the Mac Flash 5 true story movies if you did not get a chance to go check that out yet check out our new show the mac flash 5 where me and the mac flash team discuss our top five movies in a given category this week we talked about movies based on a true story to what extent well it varied and if you watch the show you have an idea of what movies we will be referring to in this quiz if not do the quiz and then go check out the show for more insight about the movies included in here well we're going to be doing as per usual 10 questions uh, in the regular round followed by a 15 question speed round keep track of your answers at home as per usual by jotting them down on a piece of paper or the official form in the video description below uh, because the correct answers will be revealed at the end of the show where you'll be able to mark your sheets and find out who knows the most about true story movies well let's get started with question number one which goes like this after resigning from apple in 1985 steve jobs went on to start a new computer company called what Question number two in round number one. What name was given to the Apollo 13 command module? Here comes question number three. What was the name of the real life escapee played by Clint Eastwood in Escape from Alcatraz? Round one, question four. The Academy Award nominated film City of God takes place in the favelas or slums of what city? Here comes question number five, the halfway point of the regular round for round number one. What is the fictional band's name that William tours with in Almost Famous? Question number six, 
What is Robert Graysmith's profession when he first becomes involved in the Zodiac case in the film Zodiac? Lucky question number seven comes up right now on your screen. Originally, Facebook was called The Facebook. According to The Social Network, whose idea was it to drop the the and make it just Facebook? Question number eight. With what popular American magazine was Stephen Glass working for when he fabricated stories and interviews in 1998 as portrayed in the 2003 film Shattered Glass? Was it The New Republic, Time, or Sports Illustrated? Question number nine, as we approach, wow, that was hard to say. As we approach the end of the regular round, a composite of many real life arms dealers and smugglers, what are the names of the Orlov brothers portrayed in Lord of War by Nicolas Cage and Jared Leto? And finally, question number 10. What is the first con we see Frank Abagnale Jr. pull in the movie Catch Me If You Can? And there you have it, that is the end of the regular round or round number one for this True Story Movies Quickie, all based on the Mac Flash 5 episode of True Story Movies. Make sure, of course, again, that you go check that out on our channel and anytime available for replay. We also have one all about sports with the same idea of a companion quiz available on the channel. Thank you so much for playing with us today and let's move along to our next round, the speed round. It is not a picture speed round this time. This this is and you can quote me uh, name the movie for each of these quotes from the Mac flash 5 top true story movies selection uh, we've taken the rest of our movies and uh, pulled some quotes from it so you may uh, even see two quotes from the same movie very possible because some of us had the same movies in our top five we did pick different quotes and uh, this is the challenge right here 15 of them coming up for 25 seconds each and all you have to do is name the movie for each of these quotes you want an extra challenge at home name the character who said them number one for the second time in the lives of most of us we are at war
Number two, you know what they say, brother. Luck is where opportunity meets preparation. Number three, you really believe your little story is going to make a difference when there's a gun to our heads? I think my story is the only thing between you and a gun to your head. Number four, back and to the left, back and to the left, back and to the left. Number five. All right, so he got shot in the foot. What is it? A big effing deal? Number six. An honest man has nothing to fear, so I'm trying hard not to be afraid. Number seven, there's always the possibility that some a-hole will be offended, isn't there? Number eight, do these characters have names? The guy's name is Brock Landers, and his partner is Chest Rockwell. Those are some great names. Number nine, I am not an animal. I am a human being. I am a man. Number 10, forgive me, Majesty. I am a vulgar man, but I assure you, my music is not. Number 11, there will be generations because of what you did. Number 12, tell me Frank, how did you cheat in the bar exam? I didn't cheat. I studied for two weeks and I passed. Number 13. Are you really saying the president can do something illegal? I'm saying that when the president does it, it's not illegal.
Number 14. They used to call him Spitshine Tommy, I swear to God. Now he'd make your shoes look like effing mirrors. Excuse my language. Number 15, why my grandpa was the best killer there was at that slaughterhouse. And there you have it, that is the end of the speed round, the end of the game as we know it for these true story movies. Uh, make sure you do hit that like button if you enjoyed today's quiz and maybe share it with a friend who might be into these movies as well. Don't forget, of course, to watch the Mac Flash 5 every week with a new topic coming up all the time. Next week, we've got ourselves, uh, they're, uh, well, it, it uses a vulgar word, but uh, basically, uh, very, uh, very trippy movies, if you will. Twist endings, possibly, uh, a little bit of mind effery. Uh, I don't know how to properly say it, but make sure you do tune in to the Mac Flash 5 and check out those shows and their companion quizzes. Well, that's about all the time there is for me. My name is Francois, and I have been your host. Got your answers coming up in just a little bit, so don't budge, and I'll see you next time on Mac Flash Trivia. Bye-bye.